Okay, in this video we're going to compute the variance and standard deviation for an exponential random variable. So we're going to let x be an exponential random variable with parameter lambda. And again, I went ahead and wrote this out and put the PDF up here so you wouldn't have to wait on me um, typing that out. And instead, I just want to go through with you how the variance is computed. So remember that the variance is sigma squared. I'm going to go ahead and write sigma squared here. Oops, I need to put sigma in math mode to be able to put an exponent on it. And sigma squared is the expectation of x minus mu squared. So since we have a continuous random variable, our expectation is going to be calculated with an integral. And we're going to integrate from 0 to infinity. So I'll have 0 to infinity. And then I'm going to integrate this PDF here but I'm going to multiply that by what I'm taking the, expe the um, expectation of. So I have the expectation of x minus mu squared. Now you, you'll have to recall what the mean mu is for an exponential random variable, and that's 1 over lambda, where lambda is the expected number of events that occur in your time interval. Okay, so here we go. Here's the integral for our variance. And again, I'm going to compute that with Wolfram Alpha. So let me bring it up here. We're going to integrate um, x minus 1 over, I'll use L for lambda, squared times L times e to the power of minus Lx. Let's make sure I multiply L and x. And I want to integrate that from x equals 0 to infinity. Okay, Wolfram Alpha timed out of the, on this. Let's try to give it more time. See if um, see if I can come up with this integral. All right, we, we just needed a little bit more time. And this integral is a lot of work to do by hand. So let's give Wolfram Alpha a break here. <laughs> okay, so we have 1 over lambda squared. Let me pull uh, Maple back up here. And this is equal to 1 divided by lambda squared. Or the squared could be outside the fraction. Okay, so that's our variance. And if we want the standard deviation, it's just the square root of that. That's not too difficult. So we just have sigma is equal to 1 over lambda. Okay, so remember that for a Poisson random variable, the variance was equal to the mean. For both of them, the variance and the mean are lambda. For an exponential random variable, we have that the mean is equal to the standard deviation. Both the mean and the standard deviation are equal to 1 over lambda.